video. It is 11 minutes past six in the morning and I am just getting ready for work. So I'm just kind of scrambling, getting my makeup done. If you've been here for a while, you know, I don't do too extravagant of makeup, regardless if I'm going to the office or not. I am just trying to put on my sunscreen. I do not leave the house without my sunscreen. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair. It is a bit of a disaster because in theory I should have washed it, but then I was lazy and I didn't wash it. So now I'm just putting it up into a clip until I actually know what I'm going to do. And when I'm done with my actual makeup, because it annoys, it annoys me when it's like in my face. Anyway, good morning. Welcome back to another video. I am using this makeup right now. It's this Clarence one. This is actually my wedding foundation that I use. I use this when I go to the office, but normally on days when I'm at home or on weekends, I use this kind of, this Catrice. It's not like a full foundation. It's more like a, I don't know, glowy, tinted something and that's really nice but it's a little bit like non-coverage for the workplace so I normally use a foundation on the actual days that I go to the office but yeah today is an office day obviously <laughs> like I just explained so I am just getting ready I start later now at my new work than I did at my old job and even though I am a morning person and I used to love the earlier the better so for me that was like I thrived I am thriving right now as well even though I'm starting later it's like weird it was definitely something to get used to but now I have more time in the morning things aren't as rushed even though I think I had my routine down, so I don't think it was super rushed, but I don't know. It's just a different kind of, you know, routine. And I don't know, I don't prefer black. I'll do an early morning, I'll do a late morning. It actually doesn't matter for me. So that's why I still at quarter past six now can still do my makeup where previously I would already be working at this point so that is not bad and my office is also like about I don't know 11 12 minutes away from the house so I also don't have traffic to get to work which is it is amazing I don't have traffic in the afternoon so I am very happy about that Anyway, I thought I would just film a work time in my life. I'm going to go pick up groceries this afternoon. I thought I could just take you along with that. It's not that exciting if you've been here before with my grocery stuff. We don't have the most glamorous grocery haul. <laughs> so, but I thought I'll take you along with that. I'm just going to go to, I think, and I'll walk because they're the Woolies and the Checkers and I need to be at both and they are close to where we live. So I think I'm just going to run into Canal Walk and it is a weekday afternoon. So what I'm hoping is, oh my goodness, I don't know. I'm hoping there isn't a lot of people because that normally is the case in the week. But I forgot, it is school holidays. So that is a different kind of... <sighs> A different kind of busy over the school holidays so I don't know I have to go I don't have a choice but I hope that not everyone wants to be in canal walk at five in the afternoon in the grocery shop so we'll see but anyway that's the plan for after work I I mean that like can completely change as my mood changes through the day but for now, um, me and Jason made a list last night 
of exactly what I need to buy. We looked at all the things, what do we feel like eating, blah, 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 blah. So I have the whole list with the prices and everything. So I can't really veer off from that because we are on a very strict budget. Very strict budget. So I can't really go and, you know, just buy what I want. Even though I don't have any food to pack today for lunch at work, except for like three, you know, notches. I'm going to just pack some fruit, but I don't have like a solid lunch because we don't have any food in the house right now. So I'm going to go grocery shopping and empty in a hungry tummy. And I know that that just doesn't work well. So I'm going to have to be very strict with myself, but we are, we are working on a very strict budget. So I, I don't know. I just need to kind of stick to our list and we'll be good. We have, I think we're buying for a week and I think 90% of that is fish that we're buying, which normally we don't. This is very, very odd. The kind of fish we normally buy is tuna. We're not massive fish eaters. I mean, I like salmon and stuff, but I don't, we don't crave that unless it's like sushi that we crave. So I, yeah, don't be, don't be alarmed. But this week is majority of fish, but also the Woolies. Woolies has like a special on all the kind of frozen fish selections, like hake and all of those kind of things, fish fingers and all of that. So that's kind of the reason why we took it, is because it was on the special. So, you know, then we don't mind. So we got like different options and then some salad stuff, like coleslaw and that stuff. And then Jason likes the skin on potato chips, the like oven baked whatever potato chips from Willie's. So we are going to get that for him and then just some fruit cheese, mayonnaise, that's kind of like the extent of it, so I just need to stick to that. Before I continue, this blush is the best blush I've ever used, I think. It's the Essence one, so it's very affordable. I I am pretty sure it was under 100 Rand for this, but the only thing about this is this tube. I love the wand. It has like this wand, almost like the Charlotte Tilbury and every other makeup brand. But because it's so hard to pull, the applicator is too tight or the lid is too tight. Majority of the product is sitting inside this lid that I can't get out. Because you have to kind of like press and then rip it off and then push it back in. So this lid needs to be, I don't know, they need to reformulate the packaging. But this is really nice and this smells really good and I really like this color. So I just wanted to interrupt my story, my grocery story before I actually <laughs> forget to tell you that this is really nice. It's just like a peachy pinky color. Anyway, so that's my grocery story. So we're gonna go this afternoon to just get those things. Hopefully I can get everything. Normally the canal walk Woolworths and Checkers are like well stocked. So I don't have to stop at a different one because that is my pet peeve. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so we can do that. Um, and that's kind of my spiel. That is basically what, that is the extent of the excitement for today. Going to work, buying food, coming back home and chilling. This is also my wedding eyeshadow. I got this Wet n Wild palette because so many like beauty YouTubers recommended this one and they were like it's so it's so good and whatever and it's obviously very affordable because Wet n Wild is quite affordable. So I actually got this palette for my wedding and it worked out really well. I really liked it and now it's very easy because it has just like a bunch of like neutrals and stuff. I now kind of use it as like my workday eyeshadow. If you've been here long enough, you know I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I struggle a lot and I look silly when I put it on. That's basically it. 
I don't do much with that. And then we gotta do first we gotta do this. I don't put powder on my face anymore, like when I am at home and I just have like my tinted serum foundation stuff on, then I just kind of leave it glowy and stuff. But when I go to the workplace, you want this to last a little bit longer, you know, so then I'll put my normal powder on, but I'm not, this is only something I'll wear on a day like today where I have a full day and I want things to last long, otherwise I don't bother with with powder and I just leave it. Because also, as you can see, it does dampen the color of everything. So that's why I put on quite a lot of bronzer and a lot of blush because when you put the powder over it kind of like, I don't know, mutes the colors. So anyway, let me just do my brows because they are basically see-through at this point and then I'll chat to you. My eyelashes is a must. I have to curl them because they kind of, weirdly, I like, I think I said this in my previous video, I swear this did not happen back in the day. But they just want to like go down. And it looks very silly. It looks like I don't have any lashes. So we call them now every day. Funny story, yesterday I was like, I'm done with my makeup, whatever. Anyway, get my things, leave, go to the elevator. I'm going down, I'm going to work. I stand in the elevator and I look at the mirror. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I have no mascara on and I have no brow products on. So I have no idea what happened when I was doing my makeup that I stopped and thought I was done. Anyway, so I rushed back. I was like, absolutely am I not going to work without this. <laughs> so let's just do my final step, which is mascara. I am done. I need to do something with my hair. As you can see from my last video, I actually put in lighter brown, lighter brown pieces. I, it's like a long story, but I love the dark. I really do. I love my blonde more. I am naturally a blonde. So what happened was that I, it started regrow, growing, like there was a lot of regrowth there. And my regrowth is lighter than the dark. So I look bold literally here and I was like well I'm going to do that I'm not walking around like that and I didn't want her to do another layer of dark because I knew that was just going to take you know a longer time to I don't know get to be you know blonde again so I went for as you can see she put like lighter brown ish pieces in so I made my appointment for end of August, so like two months from now or something, then we're going to do more blonde and like end of November or whatever we're going to do more blonde and then I'll be back to my blonde hair. But the brown was great, I loved it, so good for my hair, I really like the change but you will never see me brown for so long, I will always go back to blonde but for now I'm just going to keep it like this for the next two months. And then we'll see where we go from there. But I'm going to go read my Bible, drink my coffee in peace. I start every morning like that and I couldn't recommend it more. I do not leave the house if I did not read my Bible. So I'm going to go do that. It's nice and quiet. I still have enough time and then I'm going to head to work. <music> Okay, I'm just putting on my jewelry and then then I'm gonna leave. So I it's always a mission to put these things on. Oh my goodness. Let's see. It's a lot easier when Jason is actually here <laughs> to do this. But he left so early for work this morning because normally he leaves like around the same time as I do but when he goes with the car he has to go quite early because 
he doesn't get like a parking dedicated to him and he works in the CBD so then he has to pay for parking for a full day which who's gonna do that no one so then he has to go early to find parking in like non-paid spots which are quite far from actually his office but then he'll like walk in the city and stuff to his office so then he goes early when he does go with the motorbike he can go kind of the same time as me because no traffic and there is actually motorbike parking right in front of his office so he decided this morning to go with the car it's really cold as it is middle of winter so because of that he thought it's better to go with the car and that's why he had to also leave a little bit earlier so that's why he isn't here to help me with my stuff anyway okay i think i have everything on i have my earrings in i have my stack and then i should obviously get my ring so anyway that is basically it i am off now to go to the office it is freezing <laughs> it really is i have like a long sleeve underneath this like navy jersey i'm gonna wear my converse like high tops just for extra material around my ankles because it's so cold and then i made my coffee like i always do my two pumps in my yeti so that's still nice and hot so i usually drink that now when i get to the office i like sip on it probably for like two hours and kind of then i make like some tea and i eat my fruit and stuff like that so that's basically it for the morning i will see you this afternoon when we go and do our grocery shopping again don't expect too much it's a very basic one this week so it really depends on like what we also feel like and what is on special sometimes we are able to buy quite adventurous and yummy big meals because things aren't special and it makes the budget and stuff and in other weeks i feel like nothing that we eat on special and then kind of we get a little bit more boring kind of meals for our budget so it really differs week to week in terms of the pricing of what things cost even though our budget stays the same and I think I've mentioned this millions of times before, but we have a we have a monthly budget that we divide into the four weeks and then we go once a week to the shop. And that has helped us for the last, I would say, seven months. We have strictly stuck to our budgets and we're able to, you know, eat tasty meals for that amount of money every week because we go once a week so you kind of get that instant gratification you know that you don't buy once a month and then kind of it has to last you the whole month so every week we get to buy new things that we might want to eat so that has always been nice it keeps you kind of excited and i don't know just we just stick to our you know budget so well when we split the monthly amount into the four weeks so we will continue to do that for as long as we can because that's really worked for us to not overspend when it comes to food we do have a very tight budget i think i cannot imagine people with like children and what they have to spend on food because for us it's tight we are very strict and we don't have a big budget for food and we are fine but feeding one other person or two other people, I can't imagine what kind of money needs to be spent because things are so excessively expensive. And I know we buy, you know, we I have my preferred places that I buy for quality sake or whatever, but even when you do like price compare, everything seems to be expensive. And I hunt down a special. I hunt down... I eat be well egg free dairy free mayonnaise and I will go and buy that wherever it doesn't matter where wherever it's the cheapest so we do 
hunt down the specials as much as we can so that we don't waste any money but things are just super expensive in general so that's kind of my spiel i also actually have to put in some petrol i've been driving with my tank of petrol since april and we are now in june so I, I'm going to have to fill up somewhere this week. I don't really want to fill up because I know the petrol's going down next week. So I would love for it to like, you know, be able to last until next week. But I'm not entirely sure because I'm pretty sure that petrol light's going to go on very, very soon. But if I can wait till next week when the petrol actually goes down, because I think it's going to go down with quite a lot, then that would be very beneficial. Anyway, okay, I have to really get going now because my fear is always being late. So I would rather be super early and take a chill, but I cannot be late. And you never know what you encounter on the road on your way to work. That's always what I say. So I will then see you after work. It was really nice spending the morning with you. And let's see what the day brings. <music> Okay, let's see what we got over here. Two bags of coleslaw, oven baked chips, lightly dusted Cajun hake portions. We got two of these and two portions of the crumbed fish cakes. And then we have crispy chicken strips, which these are so tasty. Trusty old microwave popcorn. We always buy the six pack for 100 rand. I got some pineapple pieces that I want to put in the coleslaw. This is the mayo that we buy. It's the Be Well. I think it's vegan, like dairy-free and egg-free. And then obviously two bags of nachis. And then lastly, Checkers had a cheese special. I think it was 120 rand for, what is this, an 850 grand. So I just got back from Canal Walk. We, actually Jason met me there. That wasn't really the plan. <laughs> But then eventually he did meet me there after work. So we quickly went. I mean, I think we were in there for maybe 20 minutes, which was like super quick. It was very busy, but it wasn't because it's school holidays and stuff, but it wasn't busy in like the kind of like food section of well, like checkers and woolies because I'm assuming maybe the kids are at the movies or whatever. I don't know. So it was actually really quick in and out. They had everything that we needed. So we are on, on budget and, and we got everything that we wanted. So I am just taking off all my jewelry. I'm gonna quickly take a shower and then I'm gonna head to bed because it was a long day. It was a hectic one. So I desperately wanna go and just go lie down i did put my electric blanket on my warm blanket i put it on every night and then like let it like a warm up and then when i get into bed i actually turn it off because it actually those things can get like very hot so i can't like leave it on for the night anyway i'm going to not wash my hair because i want to exercise tomorrow morning I think and then I might either then wash my hair or tomorrow evening. I'm working from home tomorrow so normally I'm not too faced. I can just put my hair up so that is about it but yeah it's just it's good to be home now. It is 6 30 so I feel like that is not a bad time to you know have gone to work, run our errands and be back home. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. It wasn't very exciting and it is my first one back in like, what, six months except for last week's video. But these are kind of my days now. I mean, my work from home days look a little bit different. But I will film some of those as well and whatever else there is to film. 
but thank you so much for watching if you're new welcome and if you've been patiently just sticking around forever thank you so much i really appreciate you and thank you for always watching and i will see you in my next video